Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy ACL Official and for the first time I've got some Burberry on my channel. In particular, today we're taking a closer look at the brand's vintage Czech sneakers. I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about these shoes, making sure to cover all the key points, both good and bad. So yeah, let's get this one started. The first feature that makes these trainers so identifiable is of course the Burberry Czech cotton that covers the upper part of the shoe. The Czech is specific to this model but the brand has released several other versions that make use of different colour schemes as well. If you visit Burberry's website you'll see that both the women's and men's sneaker sections have multiple variations of the shoe, therefore giving potential buyers more options to pick from which is always nice. They retail for £430 which isn't a ridiculous amount to pay for designer shoes, especially in this day and age where many luxury sneakers go for £500 plus, but it is still a fair bit to splash out on footwear. To help you better judge whether they're the type of shoes that you're willing to pay for, let's unbox them and then talk a bit more about their characteristics. The shoes come packaged in a brown box with gold Burberry branding on the cover. In addition to the shoes which are surrounded by a lot of paper padding, you'll also receive one large dust bag. The shoes themselves are made using three main materials. The upper, where you can see the Burberry check is 100% cotton. The lining of the shoe is a mix of cotton and sheep leather. And lastly, the sole and all the white parts you see are made from 100% rubber. Although white is often avoided with luxury shoes, the white rubber parts of this shoe can easily be wiped clean, so if you mess them up, it doesn't require much effort to get rid of the stains. If you think keeping them clean is going to be an issue though, I just advise choosing a darker colorway. Along with the laces, the sneakers also have a velcro closure, but honestly speaking, even when adjusted, it didn't really feel like it made any difference at all. As long as you buy the correct size, which I'm going to touch on shortly, then I doubt you'll use this feature much, but I guess it does add an extra design element to the shoe. Holding the sneakers in hand, they feel very solid, weighty and well built. They are quite a chunky pair of shoes, but they do look more elegant and luxurious than a lot of the other luxury chunky sneakers on the market right now. This makes them a viable option for those who are buying not just for the brand name, but also for a nice look. Despite all these positives, the shoes definitely aren't flawless. They have two interconnected problems, one being the size of the entry holes for your feet and the second being the quality of the laces. I found that the entry hole for the foot is a lot smaller than it is on most shoes, so every time you put your shoes on, unless you have tiny feet then you can't just put your feet in straight away and if you try to force it they're going to rip for a fact. You actually need to widen the gap by loosening the laces considerably and when you do this the laces rub against the lace holes creating friction which then causes the laces to fray almost instantly. On screen now are what the laces look like after loosening up the shoes just twice. It may seem like a minor thing but the laces do have more of an impact on the overall look of the shoe than you'd think and on a £430 pair of shoes you don't expect this to happen at all. But leaving that aside I didn't notice any other issues with them. Before I forget they do fit true to size so if you're looking to get a pair and you're unsure just go with your regular shoe size. Anyway, that sums up a closer look at Burberry's vintage Czech sneakers. If you own a pair and have something to add, definitely share that with the community down in the comments. But yeah, I'm done here. I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you again on the next video.